Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Life. Today we're talking about the most important smart home automations, the kind that can actually protect your home and your family. Before you worry about turning off lights or checking when the washing machine is done, start with the automations that could literally save your life. Let's break this down in two categories, life-saving automations and intrusion security. These two are the most important when you first start with automations, in my opinion at least. Let's get into it. Number one, life-saving automations. These automations are designed to react when something goes wrong, like smoke, gas leaks or water damage and alert you immediately. These are the basic devices you'll need. Smoke detectors, CO2 detectors, smart sirens, gas leak sensors and water leak sensor. These are the basic setup. Of course, you have more uh, devices that could actually help you in uh, maintaining a very safe environment in your home. Make sure you read the specs before buying. Always check compatibility with your system, especially if you're using Home Assistant. You can use most of the devices even without Home Assistant, just through their native apps, but integrating them gives you more flexibility. Smoke detectors. Place them near fireplaces, kitchens, heating systems, but remember, if you have a large house, you might not hear the alarm from far away. That's where the smart sirens come in. Place them in different parts of the house so everyone hears the alert. I use MERSA smoke alarm as you can see on my screen, works very well. One downside is that it needs a MERSA's hub. If you need one without an extra hub, please have a look on Google, I'm sure there are plenty out there. So let's head on to Home Assistant and I'll show you how easy it is to set up an automation that can trigger an alarm in your house in case uh, there is smoke or a fire. So head on to Home Assistant, go to Settings, Automations and Scenes, Create Automation, Create New Automation. From here, if you have your uh, smoke alarm uh, integrated, just add Trigger, press Device. In my case, it's called Smoke Alarm and the trigger is smoke alarm becomes unsafe. And then we need to go to then do. This is the action. This, so we need to go down to other actions, perform action, and we look for uh, sirens. Siren turn on. And we look for our siren. In my case, it's called siren. And this is the extra one I have in my house in case I don't hear the smoke alarm because it's far away in the back. And we click save. We need to give it a name, smoke alarm. Save. And that is it. This automation can actually save your life in case of an emergency or a fire. It is a very, very important automation and it's very easy to achieve. So in my setup, I placed a smoke alarm in the technical room where I have my pellet heating system and another one in the kitchen. I could definitely use few more around the house, but the main issue is this. If one of those alarm goes off, I can't hear it from the upstairs bedroom or from the other side of the house. That's why, as you can see on my screen, I added IMOU. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. I placed it in the area where I normally wouldn't hear the smoke alarm. It makes a big difference. And I'm also using a Neo Smart siren this is the one on the screen right now and what's really great about this one is that i can customize the alarm sounds for example if the gas leak alarm is triggered i've set a specific ringtone for that that way i immediately know what kind of emergency it is and another great thing it runs on batteries as well let's move on to co2 detectors i don't have one yet but if you have a fireplace or gas heating a co2 detector is highly recommended it's one of those devices you hope you'll never need but you'll be glad it's there i just googled a few devices there are plenty out there go read the specs and buy one that integrates very easy into home assistant next one water leak sensors these are very important this might not save your life but they can uh, save you thousands in water damage put them under sinks near your washing machine or behind the toilet and even better add a smart water valve that automatically shuts off the water when a leak is detected this way uh, even if you're not home when it happens you'll be protected and uh, you won't have any damage to your home or to your neighbors as a bonus tip, uh, I didn't add this on the list, a must-have uh, device, but air quality is becoming more important, especially in cities. There are smart sensors that detect VOCs, CO2s or PM2.5 and they can trigger purifiers, fans or even remind you to open a window. Not a must-have, but definitely a good upgrade for your health. 
And the second category, intrusion security. This is about keeping people out or at least being alerted when something's wrong. I covered more about this in my previous video when I had an unwanted visitor at night trying to see if my cars are opened. What you need to achieve the minimum level of security around your house. First you need some smart cameras. As you can see on my screen I have some Reolink cameras, I read some good reviews about them and they integrate well with Home Assistant. I personally do not use them yet, I plan to do in the future. And the second thing you need, you will need a smart motion sensor. As you can see on my screen there are plenty to choose from. Make sure it's Zigbee, I find it easier to work with and they work offline as well. In my case I use a Cara, they're very good, a bit more expensive, but they work very very good without interruptions. Regarding my camera setup, I bought some home guard battery cameras before I got into Home Assistant. They're decent, but not fully integrated, so I added separate detection sensors outside instead. Example for an automation, uh, if motion is detected outside, turn on a light or uh, trigger a siren or send a notification on the phone or use them all. But uh, in my case I need a separate uh, sensor, but if you choose the right camera you can use the sensor from the camera to trigger automations from devices in your home. Once your home can protect you from danger, then you can start having fun, lights, music, routines, smart coffee makers, you name it. But trust me, these first automations, they're the ones that really matter. Thanks for watching Smart Life. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more real world smart home setups. Let me know in the comments what security automations you use or plan to try. Thank you, see you next time.